Alrighty, morning everybody, and once again it's cast time. And uh, let me go ahead and intro this real quick. Um, this is gonna be Gas Lab Jazz Cat. So, miracle of miracles, I finally found some jazz music that wasn't copyrighted. So, but um, to be fair, this music is a bit on the kind of on the lo fi side, you know, like lo fi music, but. Uh, again, considering that at least 90% of jazz music on, on YouTube is all copyrighted, means I can't use it. So, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's just... Because I was getting pretty burnt on Dungeon Synth and Dark Ambient. That's all I've pretty much been playing on here. Or on these cast videos, excuse me. So, it just, it's just kind of nice to ha have something different. So, yeah. It kind of like the funk, uh, the funk music that I played like some time back. This is another rare one here that's free to use so oh and also um I might explain more later in my in my behind the scenes part of the my behind the scenes part of the video if I can remember to if I can remember to go there but uh, I am trying out a different I'm trying out different things so don't be surprised if I uh, make a few mess ups here and there Still kind of learning. But anyway, um, anyway, to start with, uh, pinball session. This time around, it went fucking great. Uh, it, no crashes. So I, I don't, I don't know what the hell happened. But I'm real fucking glad for it, though. Yeah. And it looks like I'm going to have to turn this down a little bit. So. Alright, I'll just, I'll just say close enough on that. So, yeah, like I say, it's, it's nice to have a crashless session for once. But, uh, and then, as kind of a special added bonus, I act, it was actually a good session. Um... I mean, Pinball FX3 went about average. Um, this it's a new uh, it's a new it's a new weekly matchup league. Oh 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 oh! I gotta YouTube's fucking up again. I gotta fix it. Okay, there it goes. Yeah, usually about the one minute mark. YouTube's got a habit of freezing up ar around that around that time, so. Um, but yeah, like like I was saying, the the weekly matchup league it went about average. Um, just barely treading water, like just pretty much the same thing goes on every week. And then the um, on the tournaments, kind of the same thing, just went about average. So, and um, I do need to do one thing here. I forgot to forgot to do it earlier. I got to double check. Almost done. It just kind of got off on the wrong foot. So, but anyway, um, but, but a pinball arcade though went awesome. Um, I think I did great on a, or let me rephrase that. I think I did pretty good on most of the other tables I played. Um, one of the tables scared stiff. On paper, I. I beat the number one high score, but like I was telling her, well, like I was telling everybody on stream, um, actually my top score is around 200 million. Uh, but, uh, every, but Scared Stiff has this habit of, uh, it starts off with family mode turned on. So, uh, in, I have to open the coin door in order to, in order to, you know, make the adjustments to turn family mode off. And even then, it doesn't work half the time. 
So, uh, but every time I open a coin door, it resets all the high scores. So, so on one end, yeah, I, I think I got like, I think it was like 80 million. So I, I took the top spot, but like I said, I've gotten as high as uh, 200 million before. So, like I said, I did good on that table. Um, pretty solid on the other tables. And then um, one table, uh, Black Knight 2000, um, I, I killed it. And, it. and this is like the first time in, in all the years that I've been playing Black Knight 2000, trying to beat the top high score, i never done it. This time around, I finally fucking did it, so... And then, um, and then on top of that, um, I ended up uh, completing all the objectives on that table. Uh, Pinball Arcade, all the tables, they have uh, 10 achievements that you can get. Um, there's five standard achievements, and then there's five wizard achievements. They're the uh, harder, more advanced ones. But yeah, I finally got, finally completed all the objectives on there, so... Oh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea here. Hold on. So yeah, fucking great stream overall. Um, and then to rewind back some, um, yesterday, all right, technically this morning, uh, probably around two or three a.m. I think that's what the time was. Um, I fired up a game. Or I downloaded and played a game called Just More Doors. It's a freaking awesome game. Um, and I, it's kind of hard to explain it. I want to say it's a, it's a, it's almost a sandbox game. I don't, I don't think there's a clear end to it. But like I said, it, you'd have to, you'd have to download and play it. You know, every room you enter, there's five doors to choose from. Which door you choose takes you to another room that has something. So, but you just you just keep on doing this over and over and over. But like I said, I don't I don't think there's a there's an end to that game that I know of. And uh, if you could. If you could envision an old Atari 2600 game called Sword Quest Earthworld, Just More Doors kind of re kind of resembles that. So, but it, fun game, I really like it. But um, and on top of that, um, you can't you can't save it, you can't save your progress. So once you kill the game, you have to start all the way over again. But this is just a, I think it was just a tiny indie game. I'm guessing like one person made it. it was, you know, it was made by just one, maybe two people. So, truly a low budget affair. So I was, I'm not gonna have my expectations too high on this one. So, like I said though, it not, there's almost no replay value with me. This is pretty much just a one-time thing. You know, if you're, if you're able to save your progress, I'd do it. Or I'd keep playing it, but it, again, I don't, I don't want to start from scratch again. So. Oh, and um, and I did play a little bit of Gems of War, not very much, like maybe 10, 15 minutes. Um, I think I probably, I probably play the longest on like Mondays or Tuesdays, whenever the new week starts up. My goal being to get my uh, my PVP to tier one, and then after that, I'm calling it good. Otherwise, I only play Gems of War in small doses these days. Um, and then an uh, Killer Inst, and then played some Killer Instinct, and um, I think I, I did random select on survival mode, and then I, I got a, I had a few, I can't, I can't remember which characters, but I, I couldn't get into them for one reason or another. Um, eventually though, um, did another random select and Glacius came up. 
And, um, I, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, I know. Uh, I might have done a demo on Glacius before. I can't, I can't remember, though. But, uh, in case I didn't. Oh, and I do need to do one more thing. I got to. I gotta put this album on loop mode. Because I might be going a bit over long. So, so let me go ahead and um let me go ahead and fire up my controller. Okay. Okay. And, um, yeah, I'll, ju I'll just leave it the way it is. But, uh, no, Glacius doesn't actually look like this. Um, like I said, I was playing, been playing Glacius for a while. And you could just, you know, you could unlock extra stuff for him. Like the, the tree head, the tree arms, the tree feet. Don't, that's not, that's not part of, that's not normal Glacius. It just should have added on out of carry, just on a whim. So... But to kind of explain a little bit on how Glacius works, um, he's he's a zoner. He's a zoner. Um, but he kind of, so far, he's actually my favorite zoner. Um, my other one being uh probably for the for the very short period of time that I played him, Dalsum, uh, Dalsum. Um, and, uh, Argagarg on, um, on Fantasy Strike. But, uh, currently, as of this moment, Glacius is my favorite zoner. And one reason why. He can perform, uh, landing an opener from a distance. Now, this doesn't work for everything, despite what the, what the text says. Oh, and uh. And uh, I don't know what I did. I don't know what option I changed on training mode, but. You see this? Medium attack, medium attack. But uh, it does kind of help. It does kind of help, though. And I don't. I don't think you could do it. I don't, I'm, I'm trying to see if you can turn off uh, combo assist. I don't see it though. Unless it's here. Okay, I'm just gonna skip all this. I, if it's not right here for me, then yeah. So I guess I could, I'll try to do a quick explanation on how combos work. But in order to start, in order to start one, normally you have to do a special move, like um, you see that opener. That's what starts the combo. Opener, again, same thing. That's what starts the combo. And again, because um, the unique thing about Glacius is um, uh, whatever um. Uh, any ranged attack connects, you can start a combo. At least that's what it says on paper, but again, it doesn't always work. Like, um... See, you can't... See, in combo assist, is turned on, so all I should have to do is just sit there and do forward punch or, you know, but, um, to kind of show some of the moves, um, down forward punch, this is one of my, one huge drawback that Glacius has, um, he has three kinds, this is light, and that's medium, that, but it's not, a. but, they're not, a. 
they're not centered around your opponent. They're centered in uh, absolute locations, like close, medium, far. You know, they're not in front of your opponent, on your opponent, or behind your opponent, or something like that. So, so that can really create problems. Because if I'm, if I'm close, and if I yet if I still want to do, if I want to do a, a medium punch special, it's gonna go up behind them. At this distance, I have to do light. And but yeah, that's an opener. So, what that means is. I can combo out of, off of it, and this is one of the few abilities where I can do that. Okay, but you, but that's that's how a combo works. It starts opener, auto, linker, and if you do it right, ender. And then if you watch the if you watch the meter on the left. See, I didn't do an ender on that combo, so you don't get deadly squad for damage. And in order to do an ender, you have to use either either a heavy punch or a heavy kick type special move as an ender. So But one one move you can do, it's actually a melee move that can start a combo is that. It's forward, medium punch. And and that was an ender. I did and I ended it with a with a heavy punch special move. And then um down back punch it throws that. But again, it's a projectile, so you can't actually combo up. Now, you can fire up to three at once, but you have to use a different um, punch strength for each one. So I got light and medium. Light me that's all three strengths. And you can hold down the button, but yeah, I'm... That's way beyond my capabilities right now. I'm still basically a beginner, but you can go... You can hold it. Oh, and um, manual, when you see that, it's a little hard to explain, but um, if you do, it's it's part of a combo, yet it's not part of a combo. And I believe if, one, if that part of a combo is a manual, your opponent can't break it. It can't break that part of the combo. So, but like I said, um, oh, let me out. Uh, let me show you the other ones too. Um, down forward punt, down forward kick. Now, the light version, you can start a combo with it. Okay, you see that damage, 27%? That's compared to... Thirteen percent. Now, when you see that meter, when that meter fills up to the red, you've blown it out, and you're not you're not gonna get deadly squat for damage. So, that wasn't even a that wasn't even a, a full meter combo when I got twelve percent damage out of it. So. You always want to do you always want to do enders with your combos. But like us and then um down and then down forward kick uh, medium. And that's not despite what it says there opener, you can't combo off it. See it See, I did a. Uh, I ended that with a, uh, with a heavy punch special move. So that was an ender. 
But anyway, and then you have a uh, down forward uh, heavy kick. That's another hard knockdown. So you can't combo off those. But once again, you can combo off the light the light kick one though. Seventeen per seventeen percent. So more. Blew it out. See? Full combo and only 13%. But, so, oh, and then down, down forward, no, down back kick. Um, this is gonna be an, it's a shoulder charge. And, um, the stronger, the light one doesn't go very far. Medium goes a little farther, but if he blocks it, he's gonna counterattack you. It's, it's more unsafe on block. Same with the... So, but again, you can combo off the shoulder charger. So... So, kind of like that ability there. Um... You, you don't, like, you don't want to do, you don't want to do a super heavy shoulder charge when you're standing right next to him like this. You only want to do a light one. You know, you only want to do the heavy one when you're way far back like this. And, um, but really, I think that's, um, that sh that actually is one of the basic fundamentals of fighting games. You want to you want to attack in such a way that your attacks just barely hit your opponent. You know, because again, you know, big, powerful, long-range attacks are also slow as well. So if you try to do a heavy attack on a person when you're standing point blank with, he can counterattack you easily. So, um, but then there's this ability here. This is forward medium punch. If it connects, you can combo off of it. And then, um, and all the jump in, all the jump in attacks, you're supposed to be able to combo off those as well. Um, this one, light kick. Oh, the. You have jumping light punch, jumping medium punch, jumping heavy punch. But um, the ones I use the most of, jumping light kick. Look at the range of that sucker. Then you have jumping medium kick. So you got some dulcet range right here. But again, th despite what the... Um, Despite what it says there, it doesn't work for every single attack. Because like I said, I'm... So... The most I could hope for is if I could time a shoulder charge perfectly right after that kick. Then yeah. He... And then jumping heavy kick. The, yeah, so this is pretty much the anti-air one. You want to catch him when he's jumping in the air, but something else you could do too, because my reactions aren't exactly the quickest. This is back heavy punch. So if he tries jumping in.
See? It's it's saying opener. So, I guess I'll, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and spar with him for a while. And yeah, this is mandatory on training modes. You gotta be able to set the dummy to CPU or to just play. Fantasy Strike doesn't have this, which is also one of the reasons why I don't play it much. Like I said, look at the range on some of these attacks. Did an anti air. Oh, and I guess that throw goes around projectiles. Blew that one. Just out of range. You kind of get the idea here, so. Oh. Okay, so. So, this was all I wanted to show. Just kind of give. Oh, and what other ability I forgot that I hardly use? Liquid Eyes. But like I said, I gotta, I gotta call it off here, so. I've got to move along. So clear all that off. And then let me go ahead and kill the game. So, so something else that I did today is uh, I went ahead and ordered a book called Confessions of a Recovering Engineer. Um, I'll probably have to sketch in a little bit of history here for those that have, uh, for those that, uh, don't, that weren't around for my other casts. Um, I'm a huge fan of, uh, of Charles Marone. Um, he's a, I think he's a civil engineer, and I think he's a civil planner as well. Um, I learned about him through, uh, through a channel called Not Just Bikes. Um, they, basically he talks about how our, how our country's infrastructure is so fucked. Just, you know... How we're, how we're so car dependent. I mean, because a lot of other cities had got it right. Like, a lot of them are, like, walkable and stuff. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take another drink here. Hold on. So, 
So yeah, and I, I just found out that uh, that uh, Charles had another book out that he uh, he made recently. Again, Confessions of a Recovering Engineer. I don't know what it's about. I'm guessing it's probably gonna be more. Or less, it's gonna be like Strong Towns Chapter Two. Uh, but uh, these uh, but Strong Towns and not just bikes were the ones that got me into playing City Skylines, which um. Uh, I think it's what I was playing before I played Gems of War, which is um what I was playing before I decided to play uh, pinball full time. I think that's how I did it. But yeah, it. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try to keep this short because I'm already about a half hour in. So. Uh, but yeah, so that's gonna be on the way. Um, once I once I get that and start reading more of that. Um, I might actually be talking about it more, but again, this is um. I think it was uh, I think it was a revolutionary. He was uh, one of the few city planners that didn't follow the herd. You know, he he basically said, "Hey, look, look at the cities around you guys. I mean, look at how shot to hell they all are. You know, it's like they never played Sim City or something." So, but yeah, I'm kind of so I'm I'm, I'm a little. Kind of a kind of a city plant, a city planning buff. I'm, you know, just I've been a huge fan of Sim City ever since I st first started playing it, like like during my teenage years, I think. Well, late '80s, so yeah, I was probably somewhere between 15 to 20 years old when I when I played Sim City for the uh, Super Nintendo. Um and. Chances are I might still be playing City Skylines to this day, but the problem is, um, one, it takes longer to start up that game than it does to start up my whole computer. And on top of that, it takes longer to shut down just that one game than it does to shut down my whole computer. So yeah, I kind of have an issue with that. But like I said, um, Charles Marone, civil engineer and or a city planner, um, he just, he basically said that, uh, cities are, uh, financially insolvent, like, they're losing money, they're basically, that's what it was, um, cities are basically living off of debt now. You know, they're... They're constantly taking out loans, borrowing money from here and there. So, they're pretty much bankrupt. But, basically, I think what he was saying is, uh, this problem has existed long ago. Like, ever since probably World War II, when they decided to change all the infrastructure to become car dependent. You know, adding highways, freeways, and whatnot. Okay, so, um, now that I remember to, so here's something, um, this is behind the scenes, I'm just going to talk a little bit now on, on how I put these casts together, and, um, one thing I started doing is, uh, if you look on the, on the uh, lower left corner of the screen, where it says scenes, I started adding, um, uh, I started adding more adding more scenes like instead of just uh trying to cram everything oh and then and one thing i started doing is um those that hadn't that those that have seen my other cast i'm just putting all of my images on one page um part of that too is uh i kind of like scrapbooking even though i haven't done it in many 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 years just too tedious um, so I thought I'd do some scrapbooking on these blog on, on these uh, cast videos So just put all the images on them at once, but again What I what I wanted what I started doing instead is starting to divide them up it's, Again instead of trying to cram everything I'm going to talk about onto one page just split it and then um
Um, if you can see on the lower right corner, scene transitions, I started uh, experimenting with that a little bit. Like, uh, Luma White. That's, um, what's gonna happen now is, uh, if you see there, it does, but it, it's not always a smooth recovery. Like, if there's a bunch of images, especially GIFs, it just, it looks kind of awkward. But, uh, you could change the speed of that. Like, right now, I have it to 500 milliseconds. I could change it to 1,000, and it'll be even slower. Like that. But, I'll probably keep it at, uh, 500, though. There we go. So. But, like I said, um, just starting to do things a little differently. So, that's, that was, this is what I was talking about when I put out the warning at the start of this video. This is, these are the, uh, new things that I'm trying out. So, there might be some mistakes here and there. But otherwise, um, that's going to do it for me, everybody. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and call it good. I've said all the things that I wanted to say today and then some. So, so got set to getting this thing all uploaded and squared away and all that. Uh, but otherwise, hey, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, though, everybody. I appreciate that. Always do. And, um, and I am off tomorrow. Normally, tomorrow would be the start of my work week, but... Like, I think I said this yesterday. They're cutting our hours at work. Um, I don't mind it. Um, if it's only, like, occasional here and there. But they're starting to cut... They're starting to cut quite a bit. Like, uh, this week, I'm off... They have me off both Wednesday and Thursday. So, I'll take the Wednesday off. But I'm gonna have to come in on Thursday. Because I kind of need the hours. Like I said, I don't... I'm cool with them cutting hours. But not this much. You know, maybe like cutting off like an extra Wednesday a week, you know, once or twice a month or something like that. I don't mind. And then there's the fact that I had a call in on Friday or I had a call in last Friday. So I really do kind of need the hours. I mean, so, I mean, I got bills to pay. So, so yeah, tomorrow I'm got I'll, there will probably be another cast video tomorrow. So I'll, tomorrow I'm off, but Thursday um, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and go in anyway, cause like I said, I need the hours, so. I am sorry to sound like a broken record, but I don't mind them cutting hours, but I don't want them cutting this much. So. But, until then though, everybody, thanks again for coming by, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.